Good evening everyone. Today we are on our fifth day of the workshop and also the fifth lecture luckily. And uh, today we are going to learn something about one of the famous celebrated equations in fluid dynamics as well as in plasma physics that is the KDV equation. Well KDV equation or better known as the Kotebe Divri equation is a mathematical model of waves in a shallow water surface. It was first uh, observed and uh, later observed by Posek and later discovered by or rather the mathematical expression was given by Diederik Kotewek and Gustav de V. They were both Dutch uh, mathematicians. These are the two people. The left one is uh, Kotewek and the uh, right one is Gustav Devery. Well, how did it uh, develop? The history of KDV equation started with experiment by Russell. Basically, initially it was observed that in a canal there were some water was flowing with undiminished magnitude or a wave form propagated with undiminished magnitude, much like our tsunami waves as we find that there is a wave which whose amplitude it is like a pulse which propagates without getting its amplitude diminished. So, such an waveform is expressed by this kind of equation KDV equation. And uh, later, uh, Jabuski and Kruskal they numerically gave this uh, solutions, and there were some terms associated with this for instance, the solitons and solitary waves. Now, Regarding the solitons and solitary waves will come on a later lecture, but uh, as for now you can understand that it is a pulse shaped solid uh, wave, solitary means a lone wave that propagates without its amplitude getting diminished. Now numerical solution as given by Jabuski and Kruska, you see there, there was an initial wave and that peaks were due to the nonlinear effects and the nonlinear effects that is you know the nonlinear effects give rise to such uh, waveform and it is how it is getting developed and you can see from the image how it evolves over time okay now the expression of the kdv equation is given something like this del phi del T basically is the derivative with respect to time del phi del t plus d del 3 phi del x3 and n phi del phi del psi or del x. Basically, the second term is the dispersive term and the third one is a nonlinear term. And excuse me, I have just uh, for this phi should have been here. Excuse me. And as I have said that dx dt they denote the derivative with respect to space and time. Now these have got very huge application and uh, as you can see that they have uh, application in fluid dynamics, in uh, ocean dynamics, crystal structure and uh, nonlinear Schrodinger equation is one of the important equations that we will be using. Mm, in later part of this lecture or course okay so the next lecture will be on the soliton of the solution of the kdv equation or rather the derivation and solution of the kdv